Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple and fast coffee cozy. For this tutorial, we're going to need a chunky yarn. I'm using the Color Made Easy by Lion Brand. So just make sure it's a size 5. And we're going to use a 6.5mm mil, 6 crochet hook. I'm going to start by making a slip knot and we're going to be making uh, 22 chains. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So keep doing that until you have a total of twenty two chains. And here we have our 22 chains made. So we're going to be working uh, end around for this cozy. So we are going to connect to that very first chain we made. And to do that we're just going to slip stitch to that first chain. So insert your hook and slip stitch. Make sure not to twist your chain when you do that. So there we have our slip stitch. And we are going to single crochet on that next stitch. Single crochet. And to single crochet you're just going to insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. So again, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Continue to single crochet and I'll see you back at the end of the round. And I'm at the end of my round here. I just have one stitch left. So I'm going to make my last single crochet. And then we're going to start um, working in the round with our waistcoat stitch. So to make the waistcoat stitch, we are just going to single crochet like normal, but instead of doing it in the normal two loops that you see right here you are going to insert your hook in the V shape so that V shape that you see on the bottom of the stitch and you're just, you're just gonna single crochet like you normally would so again instead of the normal single crochet you're going to make your stitch on that V shape. Make sure your single crochets are not too tight or else you're going to have a hard time getting your hook through that V. And the point of the waistcoat stitch is to make your project look more like it's knit. So here you can kind of see how it's starting to look like um, 
knit stitches. So just continue to make single crochets around And I forgot to mention to place a stitch marker on the first uh, waistcoat stitch that you made just so you kind of see where um, your rounds end. Because we're going to be working in a continuous round. So we're not going to chain one or slip stitch at the end of the round. We're just going to continue to single crochet around. Here I am at the end of my third row. As you can see, the stitch marker uh, indicates where my row will end. So you can see I made three rows and I'm going to start making the fourth one. So just continue to single crochet until you have a total of nine rows. Okay, I'm at the end of my ninth row. And you can tell by counting the V stitches. So you should have a total of nine going up. And I forgot to slip stitch to that next stitch before cutting my yarn. So I'm just going to make a slip stitch instead of a single crochet on that next stitch. So just slip stitch. And with our yarning needle, we're just going to weave in our ends. And we are done with our cozy, guys. And here I have this uh, printable cup cozy that I got from an Etsy shop. I will leave the link in the description below if you guys are interested. I think they are super cute if you want to sell these or give us gifts for Christmas. And here I have another cozy that I made using two strands of worsted weight yarn. In case you don't have a chunky yarn, you can use a worsted weight yarn and using two strands. And that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next video.